Our bodies are composed of billions of molecular cells held together by electronic bonds. Sometimes these molecules are held together by a weak bond and can split apart, resulting in an unstable molecule with an unpaired electron. This molecule is known as a free radical. Some free radicals occur normally in our body through metabolism. However, there are many environmental factors that can cause an excess of free radicals in our bodies, such as pollution, radiation, cigarette smoke, and herbicides. In addition, stress, lack of exercise, and lack of sleep. These free radicals will start to attack healthy nearby cells in an attempt to replace their missing electrons. When the attack molecule loses its electron, it becomes a free radical itself. This can cause a chain reaction to occur, resulting in the disruption of millions of nearby healthy cells. This chain reaction is known as oxidative stress. And many experts agree that oxidative stress is the leading cause for such things as arthritis, premature aging, edema and leg swelling, artery hardening, and cancer susceptibility. We can see this oxidation in our everyday environment, such as a rusty piece of metal or a piece of fruit that's been exposed to air. Think about it. If you cut a piece of apple and leave it exposed to the air, in a very short period of time, you will start to see it turn brown. And that's how quickly oxidation occurs. Imagine this happening in your body. It is literally decaying otherwise healthy cells. So how do we protect ourselves from these free radicals that are wreaking havoc on our bodies? Well, if the destructive process is through oxidation, then the answer is antioxidation. And this is achieved with antioxidants. Antioxidants stop this chain reaction by donating one of their own electrons to the free radical. The great thing is the antioxidant nutrient itself does not become a free radical by giving away its own electron. It's kind of like a win-win situation for the antioxidant and the free radical.